audience. Raise your hand if you have ever felt like there weren't enough hours in the day to do everything you needed to do. It is a common feeling. Life is busy, bosses have expectations, dinner has to be made, dry cleaning has to be picked up. It is easy to get overwhelmed. Not too long ago, I had this all-encompassing, overwhelming feeling of stress. Sometimes when I'm stressed, I like to imagine myself in a place that is not stressful. Years ago, I had the opportunity to travel to Italy and Spain to visit some of my cousins. While visiting these beautiful countries, I fell in love with their culture. I had never experienced such a slow-paced life, and I mean that in the best possible way. In Italy, people sit at cafes for an hour and enjoy a cup of coffee, whereas in America, people get impatient waiting for five minutes for Starbucks, and I'm definitely guilty of that. But in Spain, the only fast food restaurant I could find was a McDonald's. Otherwise, if you wanted a meal, you were either going to a restaurant and eating there or cooking dinner yourself. When I came back from Europe and settled back into my busy routine, I began to miss the slow-paced lifestyle that I had a taste of in Europe. Of course, I was really excited to have Chick-fil-A once again, but I still started to wonder what solution there could be to my lack of time, and then I had an epiphany. What if instead of having a 30 minute to an hour lunch break, American businesses gave a three hour break? I know it sounds crazy, but it has been done and is still being done in Spain and Italy. Spaniards have siestas, Italians have reposos, and Americans have a 30 minute lunch break? Everyone agrees that work is a necessary part of life. However, some feel that it is better to work without a break while others find it more, more useful to work after a long rest. Americans should make a siesta holiday for three reasons. Siestas can boost productivity, rest benefits the body, and siestas emphasize family. The first reason that America should implement a siesta is to boost productivity in the workplace. According to the National Sleep Foundation, a nap of up to 30 minutes can help restore alertness, enhance performance, and reduce mistakes and accidents. You see, the word siesta actually comes from the Latin word sexta, which means the sixth hour. Before Spain implemented the siesta, the Romans would rest at the sixth hour between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Now, if it isn't reason enough that one of the most powerful empires to ever exist had a siesta daily, resting during the day, well, then there shouldn't be any other reason that you should be opposed to it. Resting during the day has many other benefits other than just booting, boosting productivity. A midday nap can not only improve your memory and cognitive function, but it also allows your body to rejuvenate rejuvenate after a poor night's rest. And sleep is a better cure to exhaustion than one of the most addictive drugs that exists, caffeine. Sleep is a more natural and more effective solution to exhaustion than caffeine and does not have any of the negative side effects. Siestas allow your body and mind to rest and give you a break from the daily hustle and bustle at the office. Perhaps one of the best reasons to have a siesta is to emphasize family. Alejandro Baez said it best when she wrote, Here in Spain, there is great value placed on the siesta and mealtimes. These hours of rest are a break from the workday and represent a time for reflection and an opportunity to bring the family together. The culture in America needs to put a new emphasis on the importance of family and remind people that efficiency is not everything. Imagine having three hours during your day to talk with your children about their day at school or read them a book or simply have a meal with one another. It would be a complete game changer in America if families could come together 
and be forced to spend time together. Everyone knows it is easy to get up, get caught up in work and errands, which is why a siesta would be so beneficial. Siestas slow life down and give people the chance to rest, rejuvenate, and spend time with people they love. Now, some people may object to this idea by saying that a siesta would make people lazy, and America would never reach a point where it could close every business for three hours every day. And this would be a valid point. After thinking long and hard about this objection, I decided that in order for this to work, America would first need to de dedicate three hours in the afternoon for just one day of the year as a siesta. This would give businesses the opportunity to catch up on work that they were behind on, or in possibly enjoy a few extra hours with their family, or simply have a good nap. Siestas in America would make people feel refreshed and motivated, although it would eventually be nice to have a siesta every month rather than yearly. It would be difficult to implement such a large change overnight. In the case that Americans never experience what it is like to have a siesta, I would still like to leave you with a few pieces of advice to handle your feelings of stress and busyness. First, be patient. In America, we just do not like to wait. We're used to having immediate gratification. But I would like to challenge you the next time you're waiting in a long line or even for your computer to load, to just take a breath and remember that a few extra minutes is not going to be the end of the world. Russell Eric Dobda once said that taking a break can lead to breakthroughs. I would like to challenge you to work hard, but also prioritize rest. Americans should incorporate a siesta into their day because siestas boost productivity, rest is healthy, and siestas emphasize family. If siestas were implemented, Families would be stronger, productivity would be higher, and people would be happier and healthier overall. Thank you.